It's like, <laughs> underworld, overworld, they're like, going like this. And like, I don't even know, man. It's like, just crazy is <laughs> happening. And there's like, all these bananas action scenes. Like, you wouldn't believe this <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited because all that shit going down. And I know, you know this shit is going to be good because we got people who know what the they're doing. My name is Evan. I play Ares, the god of war. I'm an actor and a fight choreographer in the city of Chicago. I have been obsessed with swords, sword play, and hence my love of Xena when I was a kid. And it was only in college when I realized that you can actually make something of a living off of this by creating fights for stage, film, throwing yourself off of buildings, all that kind of fun stuff. My friends and I had a tendency to pick up sticks or actual wooden swords and fight with them. We tried to avoid hitting each other, it didn't always work, but some of my favorite moments were where like, we each had like our own little combos that we would come up with and well, we got to, it was like we got to know each other's moves so well that we would be fighting and we would be exactly mirroring each other without even trying to, without any planning to it. It's, Almost like I unintentionally choreographed fights before I knew what it meant to choreograph a fight. Like, fing, Earth Evans wishes he could see this shit in his head right now. And like, we got, we got badass women, you want badass women, don't give badass women till fing cows go up into the sky. But tractor beams of Birkin Empire or whatever, some shit like that, you know? People. don't know they want to see it, but they do. It's one of those things, it's like, it's like, you know, you ever hear that story about, like, extra chunky pasta sauce? It's that. That's what this is. This is extra chunky. The story is essentially about one warrior's wish to settle a grudge. And to do so, she finds, hunts down, rather, an ancient artifact that is capable of destroying the entire world. Because when you've taken away the only thing that keeps them human, they don't care anymore what they have to sacrifice. I think that's a fascinating point, and I'm really curious to see how this shapes up, like where we go with this, the journey that it takes.